One of the things that attracted me, Dave, to your company was the prospect generator model. Uh, you've run that very well, and you have projects kind of scattered all over the globe. How do you manage to uh, maintain that and progress with all your properties? That's a great question. I get that question often. And as you know, I'm passionate about the prospect generation business model, and I'm passionate about exploration and the value creation through the discovery process for our shareholders and for ourselves in this entire business. Most of the value that's created in the exploration of mining business is created at the discovery stage. Eurasia Minerals likes to acquire large tracts of mineral real estate, add value by doing good geology, and then executing astute deals with good partners to advance our assets largely on the back of other people's money. It's an OPM model. We love to have other people's money coming into our projects, and that's the prospect generation business model in essence. And I oftentimes get asked, well, how do you manage such a diverse portfolio of assets? And the answer is smart people, right? We're, we are in uh, Haiti because Keith Laskowski led the charge, and he knows that region. He knows the geology. He knows the politics. And he got us in there, and we followed him with the right financing and backing to do that. We're in the Asia Pacific because of Dave Royal. We're in Central Asia because of Pavel Reichel, etc. And the astute business unit managers that we have that manage their business units in almost a franchise business model makes it um, effective for the long-term growth of the shareholder value in Eurasia Minerals um, uh, through, through that process. A follow-up question on the prospect generator model, Dave. Uh, as you know, I love this model, uh, and in particular because it gives you an opportunity to uh, search for deposits in emerging market countries. Can you ma elaborate a bit on the macroeconomic environment for your prospect generator model? You know, I love this business model, as I've already said, and the macroeconomic environment for the prospect generation business model has never been better. There's a dearth of new discoveries in the industry. The majors continue to produce all the gold they can at a breakneck pace, as well as copper and other commodities. And the market for new assets and new ideas and new exploration targets and new discoveries has never been stronger. Dave, in a news, recent news release, uh, Eurasian Minerals announced the takeover of private exploration company Bronco Creek. Can you elaborate on what Bronco Creek does and uh, where they explore and why you chose to take them over? Please. Um, as you know, Eurasian Minerals seeded Bronco Creek as a private company, and we've talked about Bronco Creek exploration before. Private company executing our exact same business model, assets in Arizona, Wyoming, Nevada, focused on copper and gold. Uh, guys cut from the same cloth as, as Eurasian Minerals. We've been a seed shareholder in the company. Uh, we've decided to merge the two companies together. We're very, very pleased about that. We consider it to be a highly accretive transaction. Bronco Creek will essentially become the Eurasian Minerals wholly owned subsidiary in the United States and comes to us with a portfolio of 14 projects, 10 of which have existing deals. Three more of those projects are at advanced stages of negotiation. And most importantly, the guys that built that business are going to keep on and, and work and, and, and uh, join Eurasian Minerals. Eric Jensen will become our worldwide chief geologist. We're happy to utilize his talents worldwide. And then David Johnson is going to remain as president of uh, Bronco Creek, our U.S. subsidiary. In your most recent press release, Dave, uh, you announced a, fi a new financing with uh, the IFC, the International Finance Corporation, the financing arm of the World Bank. Now, in my opinion, Dave, that uh, gives you additional legitimacy for your prospect generator model in emerging market countries. The, uh, uh, we're, we're very pleased to have the World Bank and the International Finance Corporation, which is the investing arm of the World Bank, invest in Eurasian Minerals. One is we've sold them a substantial piece of, uh, of equity in the parent company, Eurasian Minerals at the 20-day volume weighted average price, so they're coming in at market for the tune of five million U.S. dollars. It makes them one of our largest shareholders in Eurasian Minerals. Uh, we have a strong list of shareholders already, but to add the World Bank to it, that's fabulous. You know, we're happy to have them there. The other aspect of the deal is we're selling 10 percent of the Eurasian Minerals portion of interest in the Lamine designated project in Haiti. Of course, that's one of our designated projects with Newmont and Newmont's earning in. So hypothetically, if Newmont completes their earn to 65 percent, then Eurasia Minerals would have um, 90 percent of 35 percent, which is 31.5, and the IFC would have 3.5. We're selling that 10 percent of our interest 
in that project for 1.25 million U.S. dollars. So in total, we get 6.25 million U.S. dollars into our treasury. That fattens up our treasury very, very nicely. And as you know, we don't spend a lot of money, so uh, that puts us in, in an even stronger position. More than that, it brings the World Bank and the IFC uh, to the table in Haiti to back us in our negotiations with the government and to back the long-term development of the minerals business in the country of Haiti, which is a win-win-win deal. It's a win for the World Bank, win for Newmont, win for Eurasian Minerals, and win for the people of Haiti. As you're aware, Dave, I evaluate junior resource companies on three major criteria, share structure, people, and projects. You and I have known each other over 20 years now when we first worked together. I think it's 21 years ago, actually. Uh, but can you tell us about a little bit about your share structure? We've uh, discussed the shareholders before, mm -hmm. Mickey, and, and Eurasian Minerals is very proud to have a strong list of shareholders. Um, I'm oftentimes amazed that we've been able to attract the shareholders that we have over the years, given the fact that we're a very small company. Um, but it, I think it speaks volumes to our business model and the stewardship that we have for our shareholders' equity. And, and those shareholders include Rick Rule through Exploration Capital 2000, um, our largest shareholder, second largest shareholder now will be the International Finance Corporation. That's a great two to start with. Mm -hmm. Lucas Lundin, um, obviously a, a massively successful individual in the mining space, a strong supporter of Eurasian Minerals. Then beyond that, you'd have directors and management in the company uh, that control over 15%. And uh, cumulative uh, uh, between the funds and the reporting shareholders, I can, I know where about 70% of our stock is at any given point in time. So Dave, is are your projects in Haiti. Uh, we visited in Haiti in mid-May. Um, you were just starting to evaluate uh, some of the projects. Uh, you've got very nice gold projects there and a couple of really interesting copper projects. Uh, can you tell us what uh, advancement you've made in the last five months there? As you know, Haiti is a flagship operation for us. We're very pleased to have Newmont Mining Corporation as our joint venture partner there in the three-part deal that we've done with them, including three designated projects. Um, in the last six months, we've spent another $2 million in new months money on the ground, and uh, we're pleased with how things are progressing there, absolutely. We're currently drilling at Grand Bois, which is the open-ended oxide gold resource uh, that you've been to. And uh, we should be expecting uh, results from that drilling program very shortly. Uh, expect to have news, news flow emanating from that activity within the next few weeks most important asset we have are those smart guys in the field finding all this uh, interesting rocks. But uh, uh, end result right now for us is three designated projects in the country, new months spending the money, we're waiting on drill results. Eurasian Minerals has a corporate philosophy, a business strategy, if you will, Dave, of portfolio management. Can you expand upon this concept? Once again, Mickey, you hit the hit, hit a nail on the head. Right, this concept of portfolio management. Investors can go out and buy 10 or 20 exploration stocks and play through their own personal portfolio a number of exploration plays where people are drilling and working on those assets. What they can get through Eurasian Minerals is we manage a portfolio of exploration properties worldwide using our business acumen and our geologic expertise to the advantage of our shareholders. And we really um, want to brand the company of Eurasian Minerals as a manager of an exploration portfolio where we're use, utilizing our partners' money uh, to advance exploration assets worldwide. And, and, and I really like to, to try and get that across to people rather than talking about our specific assets in specific countries, which can become quite cumbersome and difficult for people to digest all the different assets that we have in Turkey and Kyrgyzstan and in uh, New Zealand or in Sweden and Haiti, et cetera, and now, in, now with the Bronco Creek acquisition in the United States. What we offer to the investor is a well-managed portfolio of exploration assets with quality partners, Sentara in Turkey, um, Freeport in Arizona, Newmont in Haiti, just to name a few. And that's where we're headed with this company, is managing a portfolio of assets. Now, we want to be a partner of choice in the industry. So when Newmont or Freeport are looking for new assets or new, looking for quality new exploration um, uh, projects and good people to work with that they know are going to be astute on the ground in their work, um, I want them to come to Eurasian Minerals. I want to be a partner choice in the business. And that's the direction we want to take the company.